right around the world. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Alright, now yesterday for Mondays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, we had a little bit of a project on our hands. That was using my media PC up in the lounge room as a bit of a guinea pig to see whether the online upgrade setup that MX offers from MX19.4 to MX21 actually works. Now, the instructions for this is fairly simple, even though Old Mate botched it because I had a couple of, uh, well, typos and a little bit of a syntax error, so to speak. But in the end, from a rough start, we had a win. Now, if you haven't seen yesterday's video yet, I'll put a link up there somewhere for it. Go watch that video before you watch this, because... As you can see in the background, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, a follow-up video. And I'm not being sarcastic. It works. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for a Tuesday. A follow-up video to yesterday's uh, MX19-21 to 21 upgrade video I did for the uh, media PC. And right off the meat of the bat, and I'm not being sarcastic here, guys, it works. It actually worked, and it worked very well. Yes, all right, we know. Old Mate had a couple of syntax errors and a number of typos, but once they were sorted out, it runs like a dream. Um... I have got Anti-X's 5.10.52 kernel, and yesterday it ran well. Didn't miss a beat, didn't crash, no lag. Um, much better, what I did notice, a much better response time coming out of Screensaver. Got the Screensaver up and running again, which is really good. It just works. It's a lot faster. It seems lighter on the resources too, which is nice. I mean, you are talking about an older motherboard. Um, you know, it's an older Core i5. It's only a 4570. So it's not a 4590 or anything like that. It's a 4570. So you're not, I'm not, it's certainly not powerful. But on the whole, guys, nothing to complain about. The only thing I haven't added is the MX21 artwork and backgrounds and and Docker, because, well, I don't use them. Um, it absolutely worked perfectly. Yes, all right. The video I uploaded doesn't do it justice in a real-time sense, but it didn't bother me. Now, I forgot to mention this yesterday, but I was actually up for infuriating the holier-than-thou know-it-all experts because, A, they hate it when I get things right, B, they hate it when I don't ask them for help, either physically or remotely, and I'm sure they're furious that I actually got something running by myself. You know, shock horror, that's illegal, old mate did it himself. No, 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 he must ask us to do it. See, I can do this stuff. Why do it when everyone else does the same thing all the time? But it'll infuriate them. I'm surprised they weren't howling on abuse on me because I didn't turn to them and ask them to do it or need their help to, to do stuff. Oh, dear. Yes, I'm all up for infuriating them at the moment. But look, it works. It's great. Um, the machine hasn't crashed. And I mean, I, I, I did some stuff with Plax. I did some file transfers, um, ran some high-end video, DVDs through it, see how to cope, see how VLC copes, check the sound quality, check the video quality, the whole lot, much better. Now, they suggest putting in the Debian 5.10.8 kernel. I've gone to Andy X's 5.10.52 kernel. No problem. Not a problem. Works fine. Now, if it works, okay, I'll say this much. It works, so I am not doing any other customization because the way it is now is perfectly fine for me. Um, it's brilliant. I cannot... The MX developers 
couldn't give a rat's about old man. I mean, this little tiny Australian YouTuber who 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 freaking cares? But I gotta say, you guys know I'm a big fan of MX Linux. You know I like my XFC and KDE desktops. Holy moly, is the new twenty one a good a good setup? It just seems it's lighter. It's not heavy. Now they call MX Linux a midweight-ish OS. I tend to call it a light midweight. It's not light and it's not midweight. It, it's in between the two because to me, a midweight desktop would be, I don't know, open man driver. That's a midweight desktop. I don't call that a heavyweight. I a gnome is heavy, but MX Linux is brilliant. And that new 21, I gotta say, I'm leaving kernel 4196 on there for the time being, okay? If I want to get rid of it, I can get rid of it later. But at the moment, I want to leave it on there. Now, I'm certainly not going to go ahead over this week and upgrade MX, up, uh, upgrade the Plex server, upgrade my MX laptop. I want to just make sure everything is good and there's no foul-ups before I do it. Now, I did change the LSB release as well. I got the date and everything set up right so that QuickSys Info works properly instead of showing up MX21 from February last year. Whoops. So I got the LSB release done, and that worked. That got QuickSys Info to come in sync with the rest of the system. Uh, look, the reason I don't show this stuff that often is because why show it the same way as other YouTubers show it? other than to prove I can do it, which I did yesterday, except for, the, as usual, I've got typos and syntax errors. But anyway, um, aside from that, look, if you are like old mate, you've got 19.4 and you've got the everything on 19.4, right, and you want to upgrade to 21, you have two ways of doing it. You either have to back up your entire user folder, right, so your whole home folder and everything other than the hidden files, back all that up, now you got to go through the whole installation process and the partitioning process and the UFI and the ASP and the fa uh, 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 right? Or you can keep the everything, change your Debian list, change your Debian stable list, change your MX list, okay? Change your kernel setup and then go, make sure you change it to HTTPS, by the way. And then you can just go up, get full upgrade. And you'll end up going from 19.3 or 19.4 to 21. So now that that actually works, my MX Plex server will get done. The other house laptop will be done the same way. My MX laptop will be done the same way, except it's not UFI, so it'll be done via BIOS. Um, the other house, both the other house parents' PCs will get upgraded the same way. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, just remember the my syntax errors. <laughs> um, but apart from that, look, the upgrade path is simple. It's quick. It's easy. Um, but uh, what I would suggest is is that you get the permission from the holier than thou experts and ask them to do it because they'll have you believe they're the only ones that can do it. But I've got to say the um, the path's easy. I mean, once you know what you've got to change in the sources.list file, or sources.list.d file, which references back to the sources list app get or app update configuration. Once you change those four lists in the dot folder, dot d folder, it just works. Now, all right, yeah, my big issue yesterday was slow internet and only six megabyte, uh, 60 megabit download hard disk drive and a Core i5-4570 quad-core quad thread with no boost, all right? So it wasn't running, it was running in normal mode and it's only got a gig of RAM. So it's definitely not going to fly, but at 1.6 gig on the download, I'm not surprised. So very happy with it. MX Linux 21, I can't complain. 
I know Calamity Despair has done two videos on MX. Or is it three? Two or three videos. He's running Fluxbox. Now, I had a look at his Fluxbox video, and I must say, even Fluxbox... I don't like Fluxbox, okay? What's the Fluxbox people have a go at me over this? I don't like Fluxbox. I do like XFCE and KDE. They are my two default desktops. But KDE on the hardware for the media PC would be a little bit resource heavy, which is why I've stuck with XFCE. All right. Um, and it works beautifully. Right, change the boot option, change the splash screen to update grub and the initial RAM files, initial RAM FS file system, whatever you want to call it. That got all done. Um, boot times are the same. If not, 21's marginally quicker. Marginally quicker. So, with your kernel, you can either use the Debian 510 kernel if you wish. I just put the anti-X kernel in. And it's fine. This is no problem. Unfortunately, to use a terminology, it's come up trumps. It just works. And so... You know, I, I would hazard a guess and say the holier-than-thou experts are furious because, A, I didn't get them to help me, B, I did it myself, and C, or I didn't get them to do it for me. See, I can do this stuff. I just choose not to because everyone else does the same thing. You know, they, they, there's a myriad of channels where all they do is just terminal stuff all the time. So, MX Plex will get updated in the near future. Uh, the other half's laptop will be... Well, sorry, MX Plex will get upgraded. The other half's laptop will get upgraded in exactly the same fashion. Only this time I'll remember the typos and the syntax error I got. I'm surprised more people aren't howling on me on that. Because normally when I get a syntax error, all hell breaks loose and it didn't happen. I wonder why. But anyway, all good. Very happy with it. I absolutely think it's one of the best MX Linuxes to come out. And interestingly enough, the Samba system in it is now seeing all my machines better than it ever has. Way better than it. it's even seeing the main rig properly, which is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So all good there. There we are. Follow up video to. Uh, to yesterday's upgrade video. The only thing I think I'm going to have to be a little wary with with Plex is the Samba and possibly VNC. That might be my only problem because I access, v I access it from here. It's very rare I actually go... The screen there is actually plugged onto the Plex server because it's got DB15 VGA and um, DVI. But it's very rare I switch to it. I normally, if I've got to do anything on Plex on the Plex system, I will run it from a VNC, uh, internal VNC. But that may prove to be a little difficult because of the keys, the key rings. All right. So, but anyway, there we go. Follow up to yesterday's uh, MX 19 to 21 upgrade. Absolutely brilliant. And guys, it's dead easy to do. If you are on 19.4 and you want to go to the latest without having to blow away the everything and start again, the upgrade path is simple. Just make sure you get your typos right <laughs> and your syntax error correct and you'll be off and racing. There we go. Anyway, stick around. System setup, product review video, and an 80 series video still to come. Have a good one.